Hi guys, I'm Will Reynolds and welcome to the latest episode of Guru's Match Day Live. Now tomorrow we're heading to the stunning Rookery Waters in Pidley, Cambridgeshire for the Saturday Open. Alex Bates and his team down there run an absolutely fantastic venue. Every lake there's stuffed full of fish. The Open itself tomorrow is going to be on Jay Lake. Um, I've not been to Rookery since last summer, so it's going to be my first match back there. I'm not too sure what to expect. I've spoke to a few of the boys that's been going the last couple of weeks, and they've said the fish are starting to spread out now as the weather's warming up a little bit. Pellets have been working. They've even been catching some fish on meat, so you never know. Fingers crossed we need this bad boy tomorrow. But we'll talk more about that in the morning. Yeah, I'm not going to overcomplicate it tomorrow. First match back, not knowing what to expect. Just going to uh, keep things nice and simple. Bit of pellet fishing, a bit of meat fishing. We'll see where we draw. There's some other pegs there where you can catch. There's some nice edges you can catch down the edge. Yeah, tonight now I'm just going to wrap up, tie in a few more hooks. I've got to top up a few more boxes to make sure we've got everything we need. Get the bait sorted, make sure everything's ready to go in the van. And then fingers crossed we can draw a good peg tomorrow. Yeah, the weather tomorrow looks set to be absolutely scorching as well, which is good. It'd be nice to have a little bit of t-shirt weather, sit in the sun for once. But um, yeah, I'm going to get wrapped up here. Get everything sorted, and then I will catch up with you on the bank in the morning. Take care. Will tells me he's got all his bait sorted for tomorrow, but I'm in the office on Good Friday, on my day off, because he's forgot some. There you are, Will. Tell you what, you owe me a beer tomorrow. What are we hoping for today then, Will? Yeah. Anywhere with a stack load of fish would be lovely, wouldn't it? Bit of sunshine, I reckon we have a few dobbers today, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, to be fair though, anywhere on this lake, don't matter, mate, you catch some fish, so it should be, um, should be pretty good. Famous last words that now, don't catch nothing at the end of the day, but I don't know, why do we come out? This would be a fly out. We normally have 40s. Oh, that would have done lovely. Well drawn. Very, yeah. very good. Yeah. Well done, mate. Well done, well. Well done. Well done. I don't like going far from there, do I? Three, five. Not too bad. Get a few fish there. Again, like I said, we're on J Lake today and we've drawn peg three. It's not the sort of peg I would have picked, but like I say, it don't matter where you draw on this lake, you're gonna get some bites, but we're gonna keep things nice and simple. So to kick off, along here as well, like when you're across, this whole straight's like really deep across, like you're lucky if you find under three foot really across, but today, the old luck's with us. There's a little mud line there that plums up at about, I'd say it's about 14, 15 inches deep. So fingers crossed, if they want to come into that depth, we can catch a few on that. Just the rig's pretty straightforward. I've got a white hydro, 019 end gauge, a little prototype guru bloat, and then a little bulk of shot and a four inch hook length to a size 16 kyers. And I'm going to fish meat. I fancy the meat's been working on this lake lately, so I fancy that that could be good today. I've also come off the bank and found like sort of just under three foot. I'm going to feed some hard pellets. Again, if they don't want to come into that shallow water, it'll just give us somewhere else to go if they fancy a little bit more water above their head. Again, the white hydro, same 019 in gauge. We've got one of the new sexy Bobby Taylor floats on, point three. Not as sexy as him though. And a little tapered bulk down to a four inch hook length with a 16 Super LWG and a bait band. Nice and simple for that one. I don't think, with well, the way the weather is, there's a lot of F1s in here, and I feel like if you're going to start getting pestered with liners, don't know if this rig's going to be right. Um, coming short, I've got a line. They've been catching a lot of fish short on meat. So we've got a rig for sort of five joints that we're going to set up and look to just keep throwing in some cubes of meat throughout the day. Hopefully late on that will come good. Um, Grey Ardra on this one, slightly a little bit more body to it. A few better fish, we can get them under control. 019 in gauge. Again, this is another prototype float. One of Bobby's with a carbon stem. Down to, this time we've got a bulk, probably about 18 inch from the hook. 
And then we've got two number 10 droppers, again to a four inch hook length and a 16 Kaizen 030. Fingers crossed we catch some fish on that later. Um, the only other rig I've set up today is an edge rig, but it's not sort of your typical edges. The edges plumb up funny here. There's a lot of rushes and underlying roots. You can't find a bit of clean bottom, but I've just plumbed up to the other pallet over there, but it is deep. Again, you're probably looking at three foot probably to the pallet. Um, so like the only thing is now the same with that rig i've just literally this time i've got black hydro because we're fishing down the edge only time i'm going to be going on it really is the last couple of hours just to see if we can nail some big fish 019 engage uh, a 0.4 wire bobby float and then we've got just a tapered shot down to a four inch hook length and again 16 kaizen but this time i've got 015 as a hook length just like i say if it goes off and we start catching some fish you want to be a uh, don't want your gear letting you down so i think that will uh, cover everything today we've not gone complicated we we'll try to keep things nice and simple now that we've got all the rigs sorted we'll take a look at what bait we've got for today again we've gone really simple i've got some mushy meat some nice stuff that's going to get your hands all mucky um again just some normal six mil cubes i've not gone for eight mils if it was just carp i was catching i'd probably just cut up eight mils but I feel like with the F1s in amongst them, what don't want to really sort of be too... I want to pick out every fish, you know what I mean? I don't want to be too sort of negative in how I'm fishing it. Um, some four mil hard pellets. Again, just if we're fishing off that bank, I can tap some of them in, start pinging a few with a catapult if I need to. We've got a little bit of ground bait with some micros in, again on that mud line. If that mush doesn't work, which it might not today, we're not going to know until we get started. We can change to feeding some ground bait. Again, I can fish some meat or some corn on the hook. Um, I've got a few six mil pellets for the band and I've got a little bit of corn. Apparently like late on down the edges, sort of up to them pellets, they've been catching on micros and corn. So um, I've got that option anyway. I've got some ground bait knocked up as well. Some mainline crushed expander with a little bit of match method mix. And uh, we'll go from there and just see how that sort of goes. All right, here we go. In we go, the boys. Going to kick off across on that mud line now. <laughs> Luckily, on this peg, we've drawn a peg that's usually along this bit. It's quite deep across, like two and a half, three foot, so you're not really got fish oil pellets, but this peg right over, right in front of me, it's about sort of 14, 15 inch, so that's good depth. So I'm gonna try the old trusty mushy meat. Don't need to go mad with it. Just a little cube of meat on there like that. The beauty with this mush is you get away with not feeding too much, you just like a little blob like that. It's absolutely perfect. You'll be amazed how much attraction comes off that just sits in your peg for ages and it will hold the fish in your peg as well then. Right, let's see how we get on. There we go, that was a lovely bite that was. That's it, that's nice. Perfect little bite that was. Right over where we fed that little ball of mush. See what it is, whether it's a little carp or an F1. Like a slightly better fish. It's a little plodder. That's a nice little start there, nice little carp. Three or four pound? Perfect little start that is. So that's nailed that. Nice little start that. See one thing I found as well with meat fishing is it picks out the better fish. Like for their carp, especially this time of year, coming out of 
that winter they want that bit of protein type bait like fill themselves up so like meat can be deadly so like, that's I've seen a few of the guys they've just been catching like small left ones but if we can keep we might not get as many bites but if we can target them carp then that come the end of the match is going to make a bit of a difference you know Just a little bit of rubbish on the bottom then. I'm gonna just start throwing a few cubes of meat on that short line. Not many, just like sort of four or five bits of meat like that. Just line it up with your marker, just twice. Just throw them in like that, build that line up. There's a few fish come out up there short. So I want to build that line up. The lake naturally seems to get better to my left up around that bend. Looks like they've got a bit of a ripple on the water up around the corner as well, which will help them. There we go. Get straight for that snag again. That's an awkward little bit. That's it. There's a right a little bit of rubbish in the peg there. That's it, it's come out. Keep this end up. That's it. We got her out, we got her out. Troubling, you catch them little small fish, they just dart, they know where that bit of cover is, they just dart straight for it. A little F1. Yeah, that's not bad little size. That two pound. Perfectly hooked. Still not a dreadful like you think. Well they were only like sort of half hour ish in. Still sort of five five or six pound in the net. a little shot of that float just dotted a little bit too that's it just for them little left ones in there just make sure there's a bit more show on the float so I don't strike any false bites okay another little ball of mush just really important now though when we come in it just keep that three or four, five, six bits of meat just going in regular because um, it does seem to be, from what I hear late on in the match, that line can be really good. So you want to just keep on top of it. Get the fish feeding a bit more confident. That was absolutely succulent, that was, Tobes. That is definitely how you want it. Quite big F1s in the last two. I certainly won't grumble at catching them. It's bigger than the last, that. It's cracking fish, that. Got a belly on it like me, that one, Tobe. It took a while for one to come in then, but when it come in, you've got a nice clean bite. That's the most important thing. You don't get in loads of liners. Seeing that shallow water, when you can find that shallow water, it just helps. When one comes in then, you get a nice cleaner bite. Let's see if this is a carp on F1. Fresh one. Not oh, even them stamp of F1s are good fish to catch. That was 
lovely that was. That's what we want, Tobe, I'm swimming left. We don't want him swimming right into that snag. <laughs> Good thing as well today while we're fishing, Toby can't wait to half 12 and Spurs kick off. He's been saying he's really excited for the Spurs game. What a beautiful fish. Come on. That's lovely. What a lovely fish that is. Cool, that's a little beauty that. Look at that. That's a cracker. Absolutely gorgeous. See the good thing like at the start when we shipped out and went out, it was a bit iffy getting a few liners not settled, but that last sort of five or ten minutes we've had some waited a little bit of time, but got three nice clean bites, not had no worries about anything else, so they've settled down a little bit nicely. Sometimes you can get that, don't panic at the start. You get a few fish coming to the bait, but it takes them a while to settle down. The first sort of 20 minutes, half hour of a match can be a little bit scatty until they settle down. We're about an hour into the match now. I don't think it's been a bad start really. I've had seven fish, a couple of carp and some F1s, but they've been good stamp. There's not really loads coming out around me that I can see. Um, the chaps to me left seem like they've had a few more bites than me down the middle, but some smaller fish, it's hard to tell. So whatever it is, I don't see at the minute, I don't think we're doing anything wrong, but we'll just keep plugging away at this for a little while. If it changes, I might have a little look on hard pellets and I'll be throwing that meat in short so I won't be frightened just to have a little drop on that as well just to see if you can nick a few fish there but yeah as it goes I think it's been a bit of a steady start probably got around 14 pound I'd say at the minute 15 pound which ain't the ain't worst start. if you catch that every hour for the match you'll be on for a decent weight I didn't expect it to be great early on so if we can just keep putting fish in the net for that first three hours then hopefully later in the match we can really top the nets up. So a couple of feeds of ground bait, just see what happens. Just gonna get a little bit of ground bait. Just a little bit of ground bait like that, and I'm just gonna put a couple of handfuls of micros in it, so it's just there's some again there, give that a good mix round. I'm just gonna have a couple of feeds with that and just see if that makes any difference in how many fish come in the pig. Pot. Just get the nice clean pots out. So just got a medium guru on. Just gonna fill the pot up like that, right to the top, press it down nicely. Just see, see what reaction we get from feeding this. Might make it worse, you never know, but it's just worth a try. And that ground bait might pull a few carp into your peg as well. There's a few fish milling about, I don't think they're far away from us. Just get to your marker, just dunk your pole, let that bait come out, and then just lift your rig onto it like that. They are garrity, these little fish. That tore off. I think we've got Lewis Hamilton here, Tobe. Look, Lewis Hamilton here. So it's tore off. 100 mile an hour. Big F1, some of them, though. Not bad. Yeah. Well, we did get a bit of a quicker bite there. Let's 
definitely made a difference just changing the speed in that little bit of ground bait 100% I've bought a few more fish into the peg there that's three feeds I've had one come off I thought it might have been foul looked and then this is the second fish on it so it's definitely worth just making a couple of them changes now and again cool little fish that isn't it look at that little fan tail wicked little fish that isn't it just gonna try a bit of corn this chuck just just see if that makes a difference get a quicker bite just like a single little bit of corn like that perfect just give that a go same thing again just feed that little bit of ground bait and micros definitely seems to be getting better bites just since i've been feeding that ground bait there you go nice bite there. better fish oh, hard to tell I'm gonna go back in with a bit of meat next chuck though it's definitely a bit slower than the last few fish we'd had another one that's a good fish that one's so. hope 100% that's a quicker bite. Cool, that one's gone off for a little trot. Just let it take your time with it. It's definitely a better fish, this one. Seems to come away from them snags, which is good. Just weird, 100% that was a quicker bite on meat to the corn. So it's just worth bearing in mind. It's always worth trying, you can eliminate it then. They're the ones we want. They're the ones we need, them ones there. Certainly won't take long to build a weight of them. That one's perfect, don't take many of them. Let's get back, get another one. Couple of hours in, so the fish has definitely slowed up. At just been plugging away. Just tried that 13 meter line and hard pellets. Had one straight away, so I thought, oh, this would be all right. Then literally had one line, and then after that, nothing else. So I've dropped back on that across line. Had a couple more fish. It's definitely not as good as it was, but it seems to be if you're patient, you get a bite. Lovely little carp that is. Um, it seems like it's slowed up for everyone at the minute. So I'm not really too fast at the minute. Just, look at that, the other ones you want. Lovely, beautiful little fish. But yeah, I'm not, um, like I say, two hours in, we've had, we've probably got 25 pound, I think, 20 pound, which ain't dreadful, you know, like I say, I'm expecting the fishing to be better the last couple of hours. But I think at the minute, I'm better off just sort of persevering across, being patient. Like that one there is probably took five minutes to get the bite but I've got the bite you know I think anything longer than five minutes come in and refeed but like I just I'm contemplating like sort of next half hour or so I might have a little go shot on me where I'll be throwing me um a few of the guys to my left have been nicking an odd fish there like I say I've been keeping the bait going in regular and then I've started feeding some more like, bit of corn like, pallets in the left so it's just going to have a place to go and have a little bit later. But fingers crossed as we keep plugging away on this for a while. For the first three hours we can just nip some fish and then we'll look to sort of settle on a line that we think is going to be able to do the damage. What I'm going to do is while I'm put a little pot on, 
lots been throwing it but when we go on it and start fishing it i like to just kinder a few cubes but keep it nice and accurate really target them you ain't got to go loads just like sort of six or eight cubes but we'll just feed that in the pot as opposed to throwing it for now later on throwing it might be really cool, but just to kick it off just want to take it easy just feed a few cubes like that and just lay it with you just hold on to that There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one was going. F1. See, it's just, oh, I'd like to say, everywhere we've gone at the minute, we've just caught F1s. So it's just, they might be the fish that's in the tub today. You don't know. There's not a lot you can do about it. All you could do is just keep putting fish in there and hopefully. You know, a few can't move in later. Cracking bite when you get them on that meat, though. Flies under 100 miles an hour. There we go. That was a nice bite, that was. Seems a better fish as well, that one. Not like setting the world out, but I mean, you know, if you can catch, you don't mind waiting. You know, if you're going to get a bite every sort of five or 10 minutes, but it's a good fish. And it's worth waiting. Just got to sort of just like judge it on the day. You know, if you're if people around you are catching one a chuck, then obviously sitting there waiting might not be the right way to go. But if you can get away with it, like this seems to be a better fish. This one. I certainly know where your keep nets are. A lot of ghost carp in this lake, and you always know when you've got one on. Pull the arms off you. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a lovely fish. Put a saddle on this one, so just go for a little ride around the lake. Cracking fish that is. But well, that's a beautiful fish that is. That's it, lovely bite that was. When it's like that, it's good fishing like that. Another carp by the same with this. This is what we want. Yeah. When you up them fish, you think, oh, is it a little F1? But once they still go, that's another great fish, though. He's angry, this one. First type. <laughs> look, say hello, it's come to say hello. It's a friendly fish. Christ, you can't get their heads up some of these. There we go, we got it. Lovely fish. It's another five or six pound days. You can see why now there's no need to panic, you know, you can just take your time as long as you're picking fish up when they want to have a feed these carp you can really put a weight together quick that one was a show off that though wasn't it eh? <laughs>
another lovely bite that was. So we're just a little bit later in on our third hour update. The fishing's not got much better, but we've just started getting a few bites on this short line. We're having to be a bit patient, but when we're getting one, they're a good fish. We've tried the line to our left, up by the pallet. Had a couple of small left ones there, but again, it weren't great. Um, I kept feeding that across line on that mud, just to just give this somewhere to go. Just feel like we need to just keep a line prime so later on we can go on something just to rest it. But at the minute, like I say, if I get this one in, we've had sort of four or five good carp, a few little F1s on this line. But like I say, there's not loads being caught. The chap up to my left, up on the bend, where it's, a, it's got a little bit more ripple on the board. He seems to be catching a little quicker than anyone else, carp. But we, you can only fish your own peg, you can't fish anyone else's, so you've just got to take your time and catch what you can in your own peg. And um, if it's good enough at the end of the day, it's good enough. But like I say, there's a good fish on this line. It's another good carp. Why? It was a good fish that was. Hmm. Sure that was in the mouth. bundles and bundles of bites at the minute but it just seems to be that, that this short line of meat seems to be the best bet slow but like I say when you get a bite it's um it's a better fish you know like a nice decent carp like that but a few and far between at the minute just hopefully sort of nick oh come out so we can just keep nicking, but sort of rest it every now and again. I'll have a look to the pallet. I just had another look long on that mud line, but it's not right. They're not coming in there yet. It's not to say they won't. Like I say, last hour, light phase, that time of day, they could come in there. It'd be good. But at the minute, although not a lot's happening, it seems to be this short meat line is the best bet. You'd be happy to Brighton's beat Spurs. Yeah. Yeah, one, but they've just scored 90th minute. One nil. Walk, I walked into that one, didn't I? <laughs> I was going to say, I might keep you there waiting. I might take some plate. Oh, look at that, Tobes. Definitely not setting the world alight there, but you just be patient and get a lovely clean bite, but they're good fish. I'm happy to sort of do it at the minute. Cool, I'll tell you what, they fight like anything in here. Don't want to give up. Oh, don't have a stab at it. There we go, we got you. Good stamper fish they are in that line. You know, most of them are sort of four or five pound plus. Like I say, come at the end of the day, it might not seem like you've been bagging, but you still mount up quite a good weight. Yeah, right, mate. Or let the elastic pull it out. <laughs> Keep talking away, Tobes. <laughs> No, you think, what's that on the end of me pole? Oh, that, that, that'd be a fish. It's better like that when you ain't got to watch a minute, you can relax more. Cool, at least I'm going for a tail. It's good though, like with these little F1s in here now as well, if you're not on the best of pegs, you, you know, you're always guaranteed a few bites. That's the main thing. So the most important thing is just take your time with them, like every fish counts, especially when they're like this size. He's not ready yet. Get his head to turn. Oh, not 
get bad net in that one. Come on, mate. No, no, no. That's that. Now that is what you call a lump. Oh, they're the big boys you need. You certainly wouldn't need many of them. Just sort of a little bit late on this hour's catch up. Toby's been gone, like he's had his shirt over his head running around celebrating because Brighton scored against Spurs. So I ain't seen him for a little while. But um, yeah, the fishing again still slow, but we're um, getting bites on that meat line. But they're good fish, like I say, get a little spell where you get two or three quick and then um, you're waiting. But uh, you tend to get a bite if you're patient. I've tried a cross again, but that's not been no good. Odd fish coming in, but they're not settling. Um, fed again to that pallet again, just small little F1s there at the minute. But this line definitely seems to be the line. Just been patient, waiting for a nice clean bite. So the last fish we had was a good 12, 14 pounds, I'd say, real big fish. So don't take many of them to sort of put together a weight. Them little stocky carp, them ones. Still looks like a good two pound fish. That is lovely. That is exactly how you want it, that is. fish again. Sort of standard sort of oh come here you stop it. Sort of three pound. Really nice when that goes like that. Just settle into a nice little rhythm then. Just feed some bait, let the fish settle back down. And by the time you've sort of netted the fish and gone back in, your rook bait just lands right in amongst them having a feed up. This one's going to see Tobes again. Can't get away from your nets. You certainly know where to go. When they don't want to get their head up, they won't. Keep it coming. Oh, that's a lot of good fish, that is. They're the ones you want. Beauty of the fish, that one. Look at that.
to the last hour now. It's been getting good the last hour. I've had a real good run, short of meat. I've caught some real big fish. And they seem to have been settling on it now. We're getting quite a few bites, catching some good fish. Um, like I say, I've just I've kept feeding the pallet line just to keep it primed, just in case I feel like I need to go on it. At the minute, I don't really want to come off this, but even if I've got to leave it for 10 minutes just to let it settle. But there's definitely be some fish settled on this. We've caught some real big carp. I had one come off that I think was foul looked in the top of the head. Um, that was a good double figure fish as well. But um, yeah, I think we're doing all right. It's hard to tell. Everyone's catching some fish now. But from where we are, I don't think we've done anything wrong today. Just persevering with this meat line has been good. Just seems to have drifted the last five minutes. Uh, I might give it like a 10 minute rest and have a look somewhere else just to see if we can have another good run that last sort of 40 minutes but um yeah other than that it's going all right just got to keep plugging away hopefully we can put another few carp in the net so when you get one on this it's been a good stamp fish so it won't you don't need many really to the end of the match to put a weight together like i say i've not seen nothing come in that mud across where we've been feeding some bait so I can't see that's going to be brilliant. This line's definitely just dried. The last sort of five or ten minutes, there's definitely not as many bites here. That was a line. Right, I'm going to give that five or ten minutes rest. Just see if we can settle them back down again for a nice finish. Nice bite that was. Hard to see if it's going to be enough one. Oh. It's a carp. Good sign. Nice fish. That's it. Yeah, that's nice. Not a good bite. It seems to be a carp again. It's awkward on this pig. So I keep doing the limbo as I swing the pole around here. Definitely woke up these fish. Nice fish that is. That's a cracker that one. I'll say the stamp of the fish in it when you get on these carp are absolutely brilliant. Last sort of 20 minutes on that line, it's gone really funny, just like odd bites. Caught a few up to that pallet to me left. Had a couple of carp to start for, always a bit all right. Then a couple of F ones, and just thought that little rest would have done this to the world of good. But since I've gone back on it, it's not been brilliant to be honest. Feels like a better fish. Be nice now to have a real good finish on this line. When they line up on this meat, it's good fishing. Get nice clean bites. I knew we'd get some bites, but I feel like it's it's gone all right. Just be nice to have a little finish on this now. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a lovely fish that is. They're the ones you want them. Look at that. That's a proper fish that is. But yes, it's been sort of hard to say. I feel like the match has gone well today, to be fair. From where we are, like I say, it's not the peg that I'd have wanted to be on, if I'm honest. But, you know, I knew we'd get a few bites. But from, um, from where we are, I feel like the match has gone well. Which I think if we'd had a bit of a ripple on the water today, I think like this line could have been really good. There's one. Oh. Little left one, so this one I think. Mm, oh, this is a carp that don't even want to fight. Oh, now let's work up a little bit.
bigger than I thought that was going to be when we hooked it. I thought it was only going to be one of them little left ones. <laughs> so this last 15 minutes now, if we can nick another two or three of them, and then all in all, I think it's been a good day. I say, I'm not sure, it's hard to sort of tell what weight we've got. Like when you're catching like a few of them sort of little F1s and then you go in and catch a carp, it's hard to sort of gauge what weight you've got. But um, if we um, can nick a couple more, I feel like the match has gone well and we'll have um, like a decent weight. So you know, you can't tell what's going to happen around the rest of the lake, but like you can only fish your own match. Catch what's in front of you. Fish on! Snap one on the whistle. Only a little F1, but finish on a little fish. That's it, lovely. One six seven twelve. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, that's it. The weighing's all done. As it turned out, our 167 pounds been good enough for second overall in the match today. We've been beat up around the bend to my left. Um, they've had 180 pound. Uh, but there's been so many backup weights today. There's another 160, loads of 140s, 130s. So it's fished really, really well today. But we started across on the mud line in about sort of 15 inches. We nicked some fish on that and um, like then had little spells where it went quiet. We dropped back into the deeper water and hard pellets. We had a go on that. Again, that weren't great. Nick one on it straight away. Thought, here we go, lift off. And then nothing, just a couple of liners. The best line by far today has been that meat short. We never went on it uh, too early. We made sure we primed it up, kept sort of feeding sort of five or six bits of meat regular throughout the day. Some bait was always falling through the water. Um, and we've had a real good spell on that. To be fair, with an hour to go, I thought we was on for 200 pound. It was really, really good. But then the last hour's gone a little bit iffy. The only thing I wish I'd done is there's been an odd fish where I've thrown me meat come shallow. I wish I'd just set a shallow rig up, but you know, in hindsight now, it's a bit late. But to the pallet to the left, we've caught some fish there late as well, some carp. When I first had a look on it, there was a lot of little left ones. Um, and I thought, oh, it weren't too good. When you was on the meat, you was waiting, but when you got a bite, we've had some real big fish. Uh, but late on, again, when the meat's not been as good, just chopping and changing, fishing to the pallet with micros and corn, we've put a few more carp in the net late to make the difference. So, yeah, it's been really good. I've loved doing it. I hope you've all enjoyed it and could take something out for your own fishing. And um, I'll see you on the bank hopefully soon. Take care, guys.